The boiled rice in a jar experiment is a simple classroom style of science experiment that investigates the effect our natural life energy dynamics have on the molecular structure of water. Every time we communicate, the message we send also includes subtle waves of life energy. The amplitude and frequency of these life energy dynamics convey meaning. Dr. Remote investigated the effect of life energy dynamics on the molecular structure of water by causing the water to crystallize. We can also investigate the same effect at home with the boiled rice in a jar experiment. Simply take one cup of boiled rice, three glass jars and some tap water. Place an even amount of boiled rice in each jar and then fill the jar with tap water to two thirds full. Place the lid on tightly. Next, we are going to label the jars. One jar love, one jar fear, and we leave the third jar as a control and unlabeled. Next, we find a place where we can leave the jars for a month. Place them about half a meter apart and in a place that you can see them easily. Now that we've set up the experiment, we can begin the fun part of the process. For the first 10 days, we need to communicate with the water in the jars. Spend a few minutes each day visiting the jars. Talk to the jars. In the jar labelled love, try to make the water in the jar feel loved. We simply did things like tell the water in the jar how wonderful it was. We also included a few prayers for the water in the love jar. In the jar labelled fear, try to make the water in the jar feel frightened. This jar received abuse and ridicule most often. We found it was a fantastic way to release the frustrations from the day at work. The third jar we just ignored and we were careful not to talk to it at all. After the 10 days of talking to, we just left the jars to sit so the boiled rice could spoil and begin to contaminate the water. The water in the jars appeared relatively unchanged for 16 days. On day 17, the water in the jars began to get cloudy. On day 20, the water and the state of the rice in each jar was quite different. This is how the jars looked on day 23. The water in the jar marked love was quite clear and the particles from the spoiling rice had all clinged together and formed a thin, rubbery skin on the surface of the water. When we moved the jars for the photos, the skin dislodged, but it still held its form. The grains of rice on the bottom were quite clean and white. The water in the jar marked fear was quite cloudy and murky. We couldn't see through it. The colour of the clouds was a brownie green and very similar to the skin on the love jar. Patches of mossy residue floated on the surface of the water but did not hold any form. The mossy residue had also formed on the grains of rice. The water in the ignore jar was cloudiest of all and the water was much more green than the other two jars. Fuzzy green moss floated all through the water with some near the surface and lots still sitting among the grains of rice.
By day 60, the rice spoiling process was very obvious. The state of the water, however, still remained consistent. The water in the love jar was clear enough to see through. The water in the fear jar was cloudy, and the water in the ignore jar was putrid. We placed a wooden ruler behind the jars to help see the differences in water clarity. The most interesting things to notice from the experiment for us wasn't the difference between the love jar and the fear jar, it was the difference between the ignored jar and the other two. The life energy dynamics which accompany our communication all have an effect on the molecular structure of water it seems, but the worst effect came from ignoring the water altogether, not from being negative towards it. More than two thirds of our planet is water, and more than two thirds of our bodies are water. This experiment helped us realize that simple things like playing and talking to any water anywhere can make a difference to it at a molecular level. Whether it's the water contained in our bodies, our food, or our oceans. We also realized that although things don't always work out to plan, the life energy dynamics of our intents do make a difference to things in the natural world in a way we just can't see. Try the boiled rice in a jar experiment for yourself.